All right, y'all, we're about to go Lego shopping, but before we do, I just want to let you know I've been practicing my Mario voice, and I think it's really good, okay? So, like, let me know what you think. It's me, Emily, Lego shopping. Here we come. I think it's really good, right? It, like, sounds just like him. Okay, anyway, so hi, it's Emily. We're not going to do any more Mario voice, even though that was literally just me talking. We're about to go Lego shopping for double VIP. Now, as the dummy I am, I decided to buy a lot of stuff on October 1st, not knowing or rather not realizing that double VIP was coming just a few days later. Some would say that there's probably a lesson to be learned from that, but I haven't really learned anything. But even though we did buy some of the bigger things that we were after on October 1st, there's still a few more things that were on the back burner, things that I didn't need immediately but I would get them during double VIP which happens to be now and honestly a lot of the stuff I don't really need to come to the Lego store for because they have it at Target or Walmart like some of the new avatar stuff for example base plates but it's double points I might as well plus we've been working really hard on the Lego City y'all it's starting to look really good we're working on this like hilly foresty river area in nature like it's looking really good but the issue is that I'm still an amateur mock builder which means that I am not very efficient with my piece usage and I go through pieces valuable pieces very quickly green one by three plates being the worst offender oh my gosh I just got distracted someone just came out of the mall with four giant Lego bags I wanna be your friend. I'm like so nosy at the Lego store. I love seeing what other people buy. But anyways, I'm hoping to take advantage of double VIP by buying just a ton of pick your brick pieces. I need so many more. And it's the kind of thing where you like, you see them on the wall and you're like, I don't know what I need. And then you leave and then you like start working on mocks in the Lego city. And then you're like, oh wow, that would have been really useful if I picked that up last week. So I'm back again. Hopefully there's some new pieces. I've seen a lot of fall accessories popping up on pick brick walls around the country. So like definitely go check your Lego stores, especially since it is double VIP. IP. So yeah, I guess let's go Lego shopping. Woo. Also y'all, I'm trying something out new today with this middle part going on. I don't know, it's like what the cool kids are doing, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It doesn't feel like me. Oh, but also y'all, one of the major things I'm here to get today is a brick head. It's like the Barcelona brick heads that you can customize. I'm really excited. Oh man, we just got to the Lego store and there it is, double VIP, super excited. And on display in the front, we still have the Hogwarts Express here. We have the Black Panther bust, but then y'all, this is my first time seeing the Razorcrest in person. That thing is massive. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I wish the glare wasn't this bad, but like, Look how pretty it is. All right, so I just got into the Lego store and I ran to the back because I saw a bunch of new pick and brick pieces, which I was not expecting to see at all. They actually do have a lot of the new fall colors and leaves and just like fall themed pieces, which is super exciting. So we're definitely gonna be filling up like 10 cups today. And I normally don't spend too much time looking at these smaller sets here, but I do actually have this Lego store. I put it into the Lego city. I haven't done an update with it shown yet, but I added a really nice like entrance area to it. It looks really good. But then this Paris postcard, I don't know why, but like, I feel like I should pick this up. Oh gosh, and then all the speed champions here, just, I feel like it's daunting me. I have so many speed champions at home that I still need to build. I did two of them on a live stream the other day, or rather, I think I only built one. I think it was this one here, and it took me two hours because I'm just so slow. But I have a few more that I wanna build. Let me know if you wanna see those on a build stream sometime soon. Oh man, and in the world of Harry Potter, I don't know how to incorporate some of the Harry Potter sets into the Lego city. Like I have the Ministry of Magic there and then I have Diagon Alley and it's beautiful. It's not even built yet. I've had it for like a year now and it's just still not done. I'm not sure why, but because the sets don't really have backings to them, you can kind of see what that looks like up there. I just don't know how to incorporate them. So please give me your ideas. And then over to my favorite area is the flowers and also check this out. How cute is that with like Groot holding a tulip? Like that is adorable. I feel like I kind of want Groot now. That would look really nice with like my other botanical sets. I don't know, maybe I'll actually do that. And then the Christmas tree. I like almost want to get a second one of this just because it is like a really nice build. And something fun about it is it is a two in one. So you can do like mega tree or two baby trees. Like, you know, that'd be perfect for like a Christmas tree forest. I don't know. But then the orchid and the succulents, like I still need to build them. I keep giving them away as gifts. So I still have yet to even build them for myself. Oh man. And then the Atari display here. I love like the vintage carpet. That's just perfect. I really want to get this. It's like one of those things that's on my list for double VIP, but I don't know if we need it right now. Maybe I'll be back like later this week or we might get it online or something. Oh, and then Galaxy Explorer. I do have this one already and I should probably build it soon. I'll probably do a build stream, honestly. But 
it's a hundred dollars i found it at walmart for 75 which is super exciting so yeah definitely check walmart and we actually just finished building the castle as well we need to add it to the city still but you know we're doing like different platforms on pieces of wood in the city and that area is just like a mess right now there's no platforms like it's just not ready at all but you know stick around oh and then this one here this is one that i really need to get i want to get it signed by someone special soon so yeah this is definitely going to the pile as well oh man and then looking over at star wars they're just fully stocked oh gosh wait the razor crest oh wait it's, it's definitely an empty box i am not strong enough to just like lift this up with a pinky 600 dollars though yikes but it's so cool i don't know maybe eventually it just looks so good like it's so slick it barely looks like lego on top and this is an extremely rare sight too oh my gosh so they have the hoth pack here tons of them but also the clone pack like look at that they have so many in stock that is crazy i don't know if there's a limit but i definitely want to get a few of these today okay then looking at avatar this is one that ross really wanted he liked the marine oh wait which one was it then i don't know wait was it this one yeah i think it might have been this one it has the marine in it wait i don't actually know which one ross wants i need to call him well in the meantime i'm at the pick a brick wall and there are so many good pieces so definitely gonna be filling up some cups today let me just do an overview of what's here so we have some cheese some red snot, some green. There's a lot of gold right now, which is kind of surprising. And then lots of bigger pieces, plates, bricks that I definitely need for mills right now. So definitely gonna get some of those. But then this one, y'all, is brand new here. It's like this purpley sparkle one by one brick. And I wanna get a full cup of it, but I don't even know what to do with it. So if you have any ideas, let me know. And then lots of these little like carrot stems, like these green pieces. I think we have a lot of them right now, so I don't need any more, but they are really good for like greenery areas. But then up here, so much more greenery, like we're working on the forest right now. So I definitely want like a cup of those or at least a half a cup because they have another whole box here of these like lilac purple ones. So maybe I'll do like 50-50. I don't know, we'll see. And then speaking of the forest area, they have a lot of these green plates, which I'll definitely be picking up, especially for the hill area. It just helps like save pieces. I don't know. I definitely need a lot of that as well as these. These are like these, I don't even know what to call them. These corner green pieces, they are perfect. Like they make it look less symmetrical and uniform when you're working on a hill because you want it to look kind of rigid and unsymmetrical. So yeah, definitely getting probably a full cup of that as well. Maybe two cups. Oh man, and then all the spiders. We have a lot of spiders, so I don't need any, but they're kind of scary. I do like the bones though we might get some bones to like give to the dogs in our city we just got a bunch of like french bulldogs here a few weeks ago so that would be perfect and then y'all i don't even know what to do with these pieces these trans red one by two bricks i never see trans pieces on the wall here especially like bricks so i want to get a bunch but i don't know how to use them and then something really nice up here for mills are these two by two blue bricks definitely getting a lot of those as well some other really good parts here check this out these two by four bricks like they have so much green right now for the landscaping i am so excited so yeah those are great these little like l-shaped thingies the plates like i am thrilled these those i can't really use these as well because they have like the weird lip on the end but they have them in case you're interested Ooh, even the spider webs that's kind of fun these chains are cool you can use them as like dog leashes but yeah i definitely recommend coming in to check out the pieces here they have a really good selection tons of new stuff like very spooky pieces great stuff for mills as well like i'm so happy i came in today i didn't realize any of this was going to be here now it's time to just stack some bricks <laughs> current progress we're doing all right so i just finished stacking a bunch of cups i think i got like four or five so i'm really excited to show you everything that i got later but now i'm just checking out some of the holiday stuff here and they have the reindeer battle pack like look how cute that is all the different reindeer i love it and in the holiday main street this one's really cute i love this set i've built most of it i still have i think like the top of this building to do i just still haven't gotten around to finishing it but it's just so cute with like the little trolley the like train thing like it's perfect for winter village and it's also very similar and scale to the Hogsmeade from Lego Harry Potter. So you could actually add that to your winter display as well. Plus the wreaths are back. I have two of these. I love them. Totally recommend them. Like grab them while they're around. Oh, and then speaking of Holiday Main Street, here it is on display. It is so cute. Like the little train. I love it. Finally heard back from Ross and it was this one that he wanted. So I'm glad that he told me while I was still here. $100, especially with double VIP, I think is worth it. Plus he really wants that like marine person there. I think it was that one. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know what he wanted with the set, honestly, but we're gonna get it. I'm about to head out, but I grabbed two of these to add to the pile because I rarely see them and I was really excited. All right, so I just left the Lego store. I have a giant bag here and I'm so excited to show y'all what I got because I got so many pieces for the Lego City. Like, 
I'm gonna have so much fun with these later. We've really been going crazy with like the landscaping area, the greenery, and I got like five or six cups just full of green and some other fun stuff like bones and sparkly pieces. So it's a really good haul. It took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Like I was probably in there for an hour or maybe an hour and a half, but I was just talking to everybody and it was so much fun. Like the employees were even helping me stack bricks, which was really helpful. But now I actually have to hurry home. So I can't do a car haul today, but I'll do it as soon as I get back. I just need to rush home so I don't get stuck in traffic because traffic been wild lately there's the lego but yeah i feel really good with today's haul i got so much pick and break cups and excuse you and tons of new sets i'm really excited plus i got some stuff for ross so he's happy i think everyone's pretty happy with today's haul maybe except ladybird i didn't get anything for ladybird today anyways y'all i'm driving home i'll see you guys soon for a haul all right so we're home now it's time for a lego haul but first i just figured the world needed to see some of my halloween decorations like look at this pillow it's so cute this one has ears on it. Look at little Mickey, I love it. Anyways, Lego haul. This bag is huge. And y'all, before we start, this whole thing here was $300, so please like and subscribe. But also, I do think it's all justifiable, you know, because all these pieces I got, it would have been way more online, like at the online bricks and bricks and pieces, brick link, brick, I don't know, the Lego online bricks and pieces thing. It would have been like $500 to get all of this on bricks and pieces, maybe. I don't know, I'm just making that number up. I think it was a better deal than that, and we were about to place an order for more green pieces, so it turned out okay. But anyways, y'all, first up on the list was this Barcelona brick head. I just love that you can like switch out the different skin colors and everything. Next up was an obvious purchase. I found these clone trooper command packs. I think that's the name of them, but command station, battle station, and they had like 15 of them on the shelf there. You can only buy two, so I only bought two, but but like I am so happy I found these. These are really hard to find. They're always out of stock online and I haven't seen them in stores in months. It's been forever. So if you are local to Austin, they did have a few of these. I don't know if they'll still be there by the time you get there, but they had some when I was there. So I got two and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> so next up is the Paris postcard and I don't really care too much for the series, honestly. Like, I really don't. It's not something I need in my life. I didn't walk into the Lego store thinking, like, yes, this is what I'm here for, you know? But, like, it's a really nice little theme. I do hope that this piece in front is printed and not a sticker. But I really like the series because it's kind of like a nice memorabilia of, like, cities you've been to or are planning to go to. So I figured I would pick this one up. But then the last set I got is the Floating Mountains Site 20... <laughs> Site 26 and RDA Samson. I don't know what any of that means, um, but Ross really wanted it. He likes the helicopter and the Marine. I think it's that guy there. I think that guy's the Marine. And it also comes with a blue pony that I thought was kind of neat. Okay, so now let's bring this down and go through some of the pieces I got, because I really like them and I want to show you what I got. So first off, I guess we should just finish up with like the gift we purchased, a little Halloween poly bag. It's kind of cute. All right, now count with me. Cup number one, it's just full of these little L pieces inside, like the green L plates. We need so many of those for the landscaping, so I got at least one full cup. Cup number two here is full of a lot of these green plates. They're like two by eight, I think, maybe two by 10 green plates. And I also just filled in the empty spaces with the L pieces. Cup number three is the same exact thing as cup number two. Twins. <laughs> I'll save the most interesting one for last, but cup number, what are we on, four? Cup number four is a lot of these purple leafy pieces, which I love. A lot of the green leafy pieces, which I also love. Some L shapes, some bones. Ladybird's drinking water. You thirsty, baby? All right, so last, but definitely not least, I would say it's probably the best cup. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Do you like this cup the most? This is your favorite cup? I think this is her favorite one. It's mine too, probably. So yeah, this is the most interesting one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we got so many of these like purple one by one bricks that are sparkly, some of those gold chains, some green two by four bricks. We got a puppy butt. <laughs> Some of these like olive green leafy weed things. I don't know. This is just like an interesting cup. It makes, I, I liked it. I don't know. Ladybird got bored. So yeah, anyways, that's everything I got from the Lego store today for double VIP. I feel really good with everything that I got here. None of it felt like an impulse purchase except for maybe like this one, but like I liked it, so I got it. The cups are gonna come in so handy for the Lego city. Like literally after I like hit the record button to finish up this video, I'm gonna go work on the city for a little bit because
because it's starting to look really good, you guys, and I'm just really excited to show you more and more about that. I'll be putting out a Lego City video very soon for you guys, so definitely stick around, definitely check it out, and let me know your feedback along the way. Your comments have been so helpful in there, like seriously, one of the boards was about to break and I didn't notice it, but like you people in the comments told me, so thank you. That would have been terrible to see like all my modulars crash and burn. But yeah, thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go work on the city now. <laughs>